Conquering item A1 of the poker rubric requires including your course objectives in each unit of your class. Most instructors include class objectives at the course's beginning or in the course syllabus, but to be aligned with poker, you need to include them in every unit or module. Your reviewers will check for unit level objectives located in each learning unit or module. You can accomplish this in multiple ways. Some teachers like to reserve a page in every module for the learning objectives, and other teachers like to put the objectives in the uh, module welcome page. Uh, either one works fine. I like to use the module welcome page, and I always have a section in the same place that tells my students what the objectives of that particular lesson are and what they'll be learning and doing. You can format your page in multiple ways with the topic and the week and the objectives or by putting in fancy headlines and text boxes. One thing you always want to be sure is that your objectives are worded using Bloom's taxonomy verbs. It's not enough to list the objectives with each unit. You have to make sure your class objectives are active and pedagogically sound because your reviewers will be looking for that too. So have your Bloom's ta taxonomy verbs right next to you when you're working on this part of the rubric. Transparency about objectives for each unit in your classes takes the guesswork out of your students' experience, letting them immediately know what they're doing and learning with every facet of your class. It gives them a chance to actively engage and even get excited about the skills they are developing in your course.